I was talking to a friend of mine, an American, and I asked him, "When you hear the word India, what comes to your mind?" Very simple question. And he said, "Taj Mahal." And then I asked him, "Is there anything else that comes to your mind?" Then he pondered and thought, and he said, "Yeah, it's Kutub Minar." And then he said, "Butter Chicken," which was apparently invented in Darya Ganj in Delhi. And then he also mentioned Modi, but there's a common theme, and the common theme is North India. Modi is a member of Parliament from Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh, which roughly translates to the Northern State. Taj Mahal is again in Uttar Pradesh, Northern State. Kutub Minar to Darya Ganj, apparently where butter chicken was invented, all are part of Northern India, but it is one part of India. from kathak to islamic architecture it has a beautiful cultural heritage no one can discount that but you all are going to be officers in the indian foreign services not the north indian foreign services right and therefore it's our duty to learn what is india and it is not just north india northern part of india is marvelous but india is more than that and therefore we today we'll talk about the power of india that has shaped not just the history of india but also contributed immensely to building what is today known as indian civilization it is a travesty that north indians today ascribe south india to merely rajnikanth and his superhuman capabilities no it's a marvelous land romans arabs sri lankans portuguese french british they will all be attracted to the beauty of south india they will make india their home and southern part of india will play a huge role in that story every kid in india has heard of bharatanatyam kathakali kuchipudi mohini attam it's a classical dances of india half of them are from southern land forget about cultural significance we can't even imagine a democratic socialist secular republic of india without accounting for the contributions south india has made to what makes india today and i'm not kidding we have all heard of gandhi march in our school books which was led by mahatma gandhi how many of us have heard of a march which was led by sri rajagopalachari it was very prominent prominent vidaranya march led by sri rajagopalachari from avul pakir Chanulupteen Abdul Kalam, India's first missile man, to Chakravarti Rajagopalachari, India's first Governor General, to K. Kamaraj, the kingmaker of Indian politics. They were not from the northern land. They shaped, refined, redefined the story of India, the whole of India. So today we start the story of southern kingdoms. Because to understand the beauty of India, you need to understand, appreciate, and learn the sum total of what makes this beautiful India as India. So today we start with Pallavas. Why Pallavas? Why are they important? Most importantly, who were Pallavas? 